lack is ultimate reality. It is the transcendence of all form. It burns bright as Mother Kali, the devourer of fire. The naked black body is absolute, void of physical ornaments, above the illusions of false consciousness. It cannot be hidden by the domestic clothing of ignorance. Out from the foamy seas, the quantum of time freezes in its own reflection when the tongue of the ancient goddess tastes its salty waters and her lips turn to blood. She still enjoys the flavor of the liberated sea and her nape is blacker than the space through God's eye. The absence of color holds the rhythm of the cosmos. The ancients danced in the dark skins and played with the universe. Black is the color of the emptied womb where the ego lays unconscious. It is the milk of the divine mother from the center of the universe. Black can roam free without fear of its nakedness, for black is fuller than virtue. The black soul is wrapped in blankets as it worships as a young child suckles to its mother, thinking that it could overflow with the essence of the now, with only the touch of a mother who holds her in her arms as she would God. Red is the color of passion, the creator's ink on feathered pen. It burns bright as Ma Durga, the mother of gods. The red soul is fulfilled, adorned with jewels and rubies above the statues of ignorance. It holds the spear that defends social justice. Out from her return to Jupiter, the constellations adore their matriarch as beautiful as the timid sea that roar with red fire when prompted. Her breasts are filled with the life divine. The cornucopia of colors hold the stirring of mankind. She herself danced in her pure nude skin to honor the world. Red is the color of feminine abundance where all eagles are refined. It is the gold gift to the heavens, the first opening that created the universe. Red is the color of passion, the life force that makes life worth living. The red soul lights the pathway to goodness. It banishes demons with metaphysical rays. It is the words of a young poet who writes by the dawn of each day to reconnect with the womb of his goddess.